I'm Kaito Amoto. I'm 27. A few months ago, my ears started ringing for no reason, and I was getting dizzy multiple times a day. So I went to the hospital, and the doctors ran some tests on me. Then... You've got Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease? There's this part of your ear called the inner ear, and that's how your body balances itself. But when lymph fluid collects in there, it causes all sorts of problems. I'll prescribe some medication. Many times it's caused by stress and fatigue, so make sure to get some rest, okay? Okay. Rest, huh? I graduated from an arts college. After that, I started working as a designer for this ad agency. It was a very competitive industry, and the hours were really long. I worked hard for years, and I recently got a promotion. I was now the creative director of my department, but now the doctors were telling me to take it easy. You're gonna quit? Yeah, I got no choice. I'm feeling dizzy all the time, and I can't work like this. I'd love to stay, but I'd just be causing trouble for everyone. That's a shame. I was counting on you. You're one of the best designers we have. But I guess there's nothing we can do. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I wish I could stay. The hours were long, but I loved my job. I really didn't want to quit, but I had no choice. After quitting my job, I decided to go back to my parents' house for a while. Kaito, how are you feeling? Good, good. I think the meds are working. Good to hear her. It's important to get away once in a while. I guess. You were pushing yourself too hard. Take it easy, okay? Thanks. I guess she's right. I've been working non-stop after I got promoted. Hello? Emoto, are you back in town? <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Cool, can I come see ya? If you're feeling okay, that is. Sure, I'm doing fine, so come over. It was my friend Yuda. My parents' house was really close to the university, and my friends always came over to the house to hang out. He was one of my best friends from college. What's it called again? It's called uh, Meniere's disease. Oh, I've heard of that. My mom has it. Wait, really? Yeah, you get dizziness and stuff, right? Did you get the meds? Yeah. Good, J just get some rest, man. Stress is your worst enemy right now, so... Yuda. What's wrong? You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's just that I'm just glad to see you, that's all. You always push yourself too hard, man. Take it easy. I live one town over, so if you ever want to hang out and stuff, just let me know. Thanks. After that, many of my old friends started calling me, asking me how I was. It was really nice hearing from them. I was really grateful for having such wonderful friends. Then, a few days later, another one of my friends came to see me. Imoto! So you quit your job, huh? Yeah, I couldn't keep working like this, and I knew I'd just be causing them trouble. So I thought it was for the best. I see. Her name was Akari Sasaki. Just like Yuda, she was a classmate of mine from college. We used to be good friends, but we didn't really keep in touch after graduation. So I was really surprised to see her. So, uh, you're still working at that design office? Yeah, but I do more than design. It's a small company, so I gotta do everything from drafting up contracts, meeting with clients, all that stuff. I bet you don't do that at big ad firms like the one you used to work at. 
Yeah, at first a director comes up with a rough draft, then a, a designers fill in the details and... I see. Interesting. So, you're gonna be here for a while? Yeah, but I'm feeling much better now, so... Once I find a job, I'll probably get my own place. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be around, so... If you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks. I didn't think you'd come see me, so, uh... It was really nice seeing you. What does that mean? We used to be such good friends back in college. Oh, I know. We're still friends, right? Of course. A lot of my friends called or texted me asking me how I was, and I really appreciate that, but they were the only ones who came to see me in person. Then about two weeks later, Yuda came over to see me again. How's it going? Not bad. Cool. Hey, uh, what are you gonna do after this? Not sure, why? Well, I was thinking, uh, you wanna start a business with me? What? A business? Yeah, we can start our own design office. It'll be great. I think we'll make a great team, and don't worry if you're feeling sick. I can fill in for you. It'll work, trust me. Sounds interesting. I know, right? You're a great artist. You should put that skill to work. But that means you're gonna have to quit your company. No worries. I've always wanted to stop my own design business, so... I'm ready to give this thing a try. What do you say, man? Yuda. I was really excited about this. That night, I called up Sasaki-san to tell her the big news. Hey, uh, I got some big news. Yuda and I are going into business together. We're starting our own design firm. Yuda? You mean that guy from college? Yeah, he was the first one that came to see me. He seemed really worried about me. Oh, I see. Well, uh... What is it? Oh, um, it's nothing. Um, if you ever need anything, let me know, okay? I'm your friend, too, so don't forget that. <laughs> thanks. I appreciate that. Alright. Well, thanks for the call. Bye. Yuda. Hmm. A few months later, our business was up and running. Yuda was in charge of sales. I was in charge of design. Yuda hired three other people as our assistant. They were all really good people, and... They were very understanding of my condition. Work wasn't easy, but uh, it wasn't as stressful as my last job. I loved working with Yuda. You're so good at this. I'm so glad I went into business with you. Thanks, man. I'm glad you talked me into this. I'll forever be grateful. Same here. Well, don't push yourself too hard, okay? All right, thanks. We were off to a good start. Our business was growing. I thought my career was over when I got my diagnosis, but I guess everything worked out for me. How have you been? Good. Work is great, too. Our business is growing. Ah, good to hear. You feeling okay? You must be busy. Well, yeah. I've been working longer hours than usual recently. You said stress was your worst enemy. Make sure you don't push yourself too hard, okay? Yeah, no worries. Whenever I'm not feeling well, he lets me take some time off, so it's cool. Okay. Everything was going well. I was so glad that I came back here. But then... Yuda betrayed me. Emoto, you're fired! What? Stop messing around, it's not funny. I'm not, I'm serious. I don't need you anymore. Hold on, I thought we were in this together? Not really, I'm the CEO. You're just an employee. What? You helped me out big time though. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, thanks for your help, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you use me? That was your plan this entire time? Yep. But why? 
I want to grow my business even more, but uh, you've been getting too much attention lately. We don't need two leaders. I don't need you anymore, okay? Get out! What? I thought we were a team, but he was just using me this entire time. I was devastated, and my illness got worse after that. I wanted to say something to him, but there was nothing I could do. Emoto. You'd have tricked me. Hey, uh, stop thinking about that for a second, okay? Just get some rest. I was still in shock over what happened, but Sasaki-san stood by my side. She came to see me every chance she got. She was helping me out big time. My illness got worse than before, and it took me a while to get better, but about a year later, I was back on my feet again. Sasaki-san, thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. Of course, I... Huh? I... I really like you, so... Huh? What do you mean? What do you think it means? I like you, okay? You like me? Yeah. Why else would I do this? I, I like you, too. I love you. <laughs> Good to hear. And so we started dating. My parents liked her a lot, too, so they were really happy when I told them the good news. Well, I'm feeling much better now, so I better go look for a job. I know. Why don't we start our own company? Well, not I don't know. I already tried that once, and... I've been wanting to start my own design firm for years. You'd have beat me to it, but... Come on, you agreed to help him, and I'm your girlfriend. Uh, okay, I guess I can give it a try. Akari's father ran his own company, and when she told him about her idea, he was more than willing to help. He made a big investment in our company, and we were open for business. Work was hard, but Akari always put my health first. I was really grateful for that. And Akari's father helped us get a lot of new clients. He knew a lot of people, so it was a big help. Our company was growing fast, and Akari's father was impressed. Oh, and uh, he was always asking me when I was going to propose to her. <laughs> Kaito, a new client just signed with us. Look! Oh, I've heard of him. We used to do business with them back when I was working at Yuta's company. Yeah, listen, I didn't want to say anything, but it looks like he's going out of business. What, really? Yeah, I mean, you're the one that helped his company grow, so what did he think was going to happen? It's just a matter of time. Oh. Well, I guess she did have a point. Honestly, Yuta wasn't a very good designer. Without me, he didn't have much of an edge. But I guess that's part of the reason why he didn't want me around anymore. Then, a few days later, Yuta showed up at our office. Emoto, I'm really sorry! Please forgive me! You've got some nerve showing back up here like this. Your company is falling apart, so now you're begging him to come back? Give me a break. Sorry, but I'm not going back. You know I can't. I'm really sorry. Please, give me another chance. You've been jealous of him for years. You think I didn't know? Back in college, you always talked behind his back. Ugh. Really? I never liked you, Yuda. When I heard you two were going into business together, I was worried, to be honest. For a second, I thought you'd changed, but... I guess I was wrong. Emoto, listen. Look, man, you were the one. To... Look, man, you were the first one to come and see me, and you did give me a job for a year and a half. So for that, I'm grateful. I won't sue you for damages or anything, but just don't come back here, okay? Ugh. A few months later, his company went bankrupt. He tried to get a new job, but it wasn't looking good for him. 
Everyone in the industry knew what he did to me, so nobody wanted to hire him. His mom had the same illness as me, so people couldn't believe that he did this to me. A few months later, he couldn't take it anymore and moved out of town. Well, glad that's over with. It was time for me to move on. Oh, and Akari and I finally got engaged. I can't wait, can't wait for the wedding. I hear Meniere's disease is really hard to deal with. They say it's mostly caused by stress, but these days it's really hard to live in a stress-free environment, so anyways, I'm really glad things worked out for him. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.